Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3 point and problem number 3.49. Locate the centroid of the shaded 3 quarters of the area of a square of dimension A. The total area is a square of size A, but this type of shape has been removed. Our interest is to find the centroid for the remaining shaded area. So what I will do is, this I will divide into area 1, that is the total square, minus this triangle. So this is equal to with reference to the same x y axis. This is my area 1 minus area 2 is with reference to the same x y axis. This is the area I need to subtract from this total area. What are the dimensions for area is a and a. So what are the dimensions for this area 2? So this height is equal to a by 2 and this height is also equals to a by 2 but this is equal to a. So this is a by 2, this is a by 2 and this is a. Now we will form a table now. First we will take the centroid for the area 1. It is a square. Centroid is exactly at the center. So this is my y1 bar and this is x1 bar. Clearly we can say x1 bar is equal to a by 2 and y1 bar is equal to a by 2. So I can fill the table now. a into a is a square x bar is equal to a by 2, y bar is equal to a by 2. So I can calculate ax bar and ay bar. Now let us take the triangle. Now for this triangle, centroid is here. This distance is x2 bar and this distance is y. Clearly we can see this x2 bar is equal to a by 2, uh, that y2 bar. So you know the centroid, this is equal to 2 by 3 into h. Now here height is equal to a by 2. It is nothing but a by 2. Now I want the total distance and you know this distance is equal to a by 2. So y2 bar is equal to a by 2. 2 plus a by 2. I can calculate but this is minus. We need to subtract. So area is to be minus 2. Half base into height because it is area of the triangle. Half base is a by 2. Height is a. So it is a square by 4 and x2 bar is equal to a by 2 and y2 bar is equal to a by 2 plus 2 by 3 into a by 2 as we discussed here is equal to 5a by 6. And you can calculate ax bar. Let us take this table now for the remaining calculations. This is the table. And this is the minus. Clearly, we can see the total thing is to be subtracted from area 1. Now, that is sigma a. Area 1 minus area 2. a square minus a square by 4, which is equal to 3a square by 4. And then sigma a x bar. Sigma x bar a cube by 2 minus a cube by 8, which gives the value 3a cube by 8. And a y bar is also equals to a cube by 2 minus 5a cube by 24, which gives the value 7a cube by 24. Now, the x coordinate of the centroid sigma ax bar by sigma a that is 3a cube by 8 by 3a square by 4, 3a cube by 8, 4 by 3a square. Cancel left with a, 4 gets cancelled, you will get the value a by. Same is the case with the y coordinate sigma a y bar by sigma a, 7a cube by 24 by 3a square by 4, that means 7a cube by 24, 4 by 3a square, 4 sixes, a square, a square gets cancelled, so 7a by 18. These two are the answers.